For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now let's do these problems. As I determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction, measure counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. Measure this way. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta form a triangle between these two vectors and the resultant force. To do so, you gotta pick up one of the vectors and basically connect it to the end of the other. So basically what I did is I moved this 600 Newton vector over here. And now that will be the resultant force. This is FR, this is 600, and this is 800. And this is the angle that we're looking for, let's call it theta. So basically what do you know? You know that this, uh, the angle that it forms right here is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. Therefore, this is 60 degrees because it's 90 minus 30 is equal to 60. Now you have two magnitude of uh, two sides of the triangle and the angle between them. Whenever you have two sides of the triangle and the angle between them, you use the law of cosines. To find the uh, third side which would be fr. The law of cosines says that uh, side c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times the cosine of the angle between them, let's call it theta. So c squared would be f of r squared and let's plug in the numbers, let's call 800 would be a plus b would be 600 square minus 2 times 800 times 600 times cosine of the angle between them which is 60 degrees sorry it's not theta theta is the one we're trying to find so let's call it um yeah let's call it phi this theta right here is equal to phi okay so now that we plug in all, all the values that we have into this formula the square root this side two, the square root this side two, so we get a far. F of far is going to be equal to 721.11. 721.11. Alright, so now let's say you wanted to find this angle right here because we need to find this angle uh, theta. So if we wanted to uh, find this angle right here, let's call it angle beta. You could use uh, the law of sines. Law of sines. Now, the law of sines says that side A over sine of the opposite angle is equal to side B over sine of the opposite angle, which is equal to side C over sine of the opposite angle. So let's plug in the numbers with f of r and 60, f of r over sine of 60 degrees is equal to, and we want to find beta, so we got to use the opposite side, which will be 600 over sine of beta. f of r, we know it to be 721.11, which is founded. So all you got to do is solve for beta. You're going to get that beta is equal to, uh, let me see, sine inverse of, I'm doing this mentally, so give me one second. It will be 600 times sine of 60 over 721.11. All right. That's how you solve for beta in this case, and you're going to get that beta is equal to 46.1 degrees. Uh, however, the angle that they're asking you is theta, and you can see that theta is equal to 90 minus beta, which is 43.9 degrees. Final answer for the angle that it forms with the x-axis and final answer for the magnitude. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.